Therefore, I give notice that Liz Truss is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Good afternoon. I have just accepted Her Majesty the Queen's kind invitation to form a new government. I'm honoured to take my place as Prime Minister in this House. Earlier this week, I promised I would deal with the soaring energy prices faced by families and businesses across the UK. And today, I am delivering on that promise. I will give way. We are all devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Mr Speaker, in the hours since last night's shocking news, we have witnessed the most heartfelt outpouring of grief at the loss of Her Late Majesty the Queen. We do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles, his heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God. Well, we know that businesses are very concerned about the level of their energy bills. That's why we are putting in place a scheme for business that will be equivalent to the scheme for households to make sure that businesses are able to get through the winter. I think we have to look at what situation this country would be in if we hadn't acted. People were facing fuel bills, energy bills of up to £6,000. We had very high inflation expectations and an economic slowdown. What I'm saying is it's very difficult and stormy times in the international markets. And of course, the Bank of England is independent. It takes the action it needs to take and it is responsible for interest rates and it is responsible for financial stability. Well, you've set out a significant change of direction mm -hmm. from the Conservative government that you were being part of for many, many years. But how many people voted for you to do that? Well, people in 2019 who voted Conservative voted for a successful country where we are levelling up all parts of the country and where we're driving growth, enterprise and opportunity. Now, later on in my speech, my friends, I'm going to talk about the anti-growth coalition. But I think, I, think, I think they arrived in the hall a bit too early. Uh, they were meant to see you again. It's a great pleasure. But it was right in the face of the issues that we had that I acted decisively to ensure that we have economic stability because that is vitally important to people and businesses right across our country. Uh, and will you lead the Conservatives into the next general election? I will lead the Conservatives into the next general election. Definitely. Well, look. I've got the list here. 45p tax cut, gone. Corporation tax cut, gone. 20p tax cut, gone. Two year energy freeze, gone. Tax free shopping, gone. Economic credibility, gone. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. 
I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party.